Hey guys, I know you're thirsty for some more tips and tricks. My name is George Holliday. I am a producer and songwriter here at Made on the Road on the Studio Bus, and I'm about to give you all the tips you need. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you five production effect terms that all songwriters should know. This is super important when you're trying to explain to your producer or whether you're trying to create a demo for yourself. If you're wanting a certain sound or a certain effect with your, with your vocal mainly, then I wanna help you be able to achieve that and get that so your producer can turn your demo into an absolute banger. Okay, this is the track I'm working on with an artist called Beth McCarthy. Coffee. And the first effect term I'm going to be speaking about is compression. I know this is something that really confuses quite a lot of people. Compression basically removes any loud sounds that happen in the recording. So you can see here with Beth's vocal, Beth's vocal, when this goes loud here, the compression is going to be working on controlling that volume a lot more than it will be with these lower moments. You can use this to your advantage if you're wanting a big, powerful, punchy vocal, then you might want a really heavy compression on your vocal. And if you're wanting something to sound really natural, then you want less compression. This is an example without compression they can see we float. Float. this is an example with compression they can see we float. Float. you can hear the vocal sounds much more controlled there's much more energy there but don't over compress your vocals otherwise you'll do the opposite and remove all of the energy okay so the next term is reverb reverb is basically putting your vocal it's adding a space to your vocal you can put any instrument in a production into any kind of space there's so much type many types of reverb out there and i'm going to do a separate video on types of reverb but for now this is simply without reverb. They can see we float. This is with reverb. They can see we float. This adds size to your vocal and it changes the intimacy of how the listener is hearing your voice. If there's no reverb, it's really intimate and feels really in your head. And if it's loads of reverb, then it feels quite distant and far away. This next one is delay. You might have heard it a little bit just then. So this is without delay. We float. And this is with delay. Let me turn it back on. We float, but I would this can also be tied in with echo, slightly different, but basically doing the same thing. You can add stereo whip to your vocals by doing this. Accent certain words like I have here, where you pick out one word that you want people to tune in on more. It's a great way to fill up some gaps as well. And if you're being really smart with it, you can also create the effect of reverb, but through delay, and it makes the vocals slightly less distant. EQ, this is where you can bring up the highs and the lows in the frequencies of your vo vocal, and you can remove harshness, or you can add some brightness or some depth to your vocal. So this is without. They can see we float. And this is with. They can see we float. But it will look a little bit like this. You can see I've added loads of top end on this just to get her voice to be more present. And I've removed some harsh frequencies here and removed the bottom end so it's not muddy and low and sounds like it's sound sounds like you're being spoken to for a t-shirt. If your vocal sounds too thin or sounds too tinny or sounds too boomy, it will be EQ. And finally, auto-tune. Now people think of auto-tune as being really robotic and like a vocoder, but actually it's not. It can be used to tighten up timing. It can make your run sound just tighter and all of your backing vocals just sound more together. Now this is without auto-tune on Beth's voice. She's a wicked singer. They can see we float. And this is with auto-tune. They can see we float. I just think it sounds tighter. I think it sounds just more on and it's not because she wasn't a good singer in the first place. It just enhances and I think adds a bit of energy to the vocals as well. Wow, I don't know if we managed that in 90 seconds because I wanted to really let you guys know the use of these terms as well. If you want to have a conversation about music that you're making, I'm offering free 30 minute call at the moment to anybody that wants it. There's a link that's pinned down in the comments and you can follow that link and book in a call with me. And if you're looking to be more efficient as a musician and as a songwriter, I've created a course that basically helps you guys build the life you want to live as a working musician. I've managed to build being a producer full time for the last few years and out of a bus out of all things, which was absolutely my dream. And there's some simple things that I learned that I've put into this course for you. It's down in the description. So I think you guys might really benefit from that. Take a look. There's a free video there and some information if you're interested. Absolutely no pressure. But guys, I want you to promise me one thing. Stay safe, look after each other and remember, never stop creating.